we're going to create this bicycle now. So this is the reference we are taking. So this reference, if you want to import to 3ds Max, two way you can import. Go to left view. And here, if you click on standard, there is viewport global settings. Then you go to background and there is use file, use file, then you can browse one image from here. For example, this is an image. If you okay, that image completely comes over here. When you come to perspective, you cannot see, but because we imported to the left view, in the left view, it will be there. But we are not doing this way now. So I want to switch off it. So I go back again there, background. I want to customize user interface, gradient color. This is default. I just showed you that way you can import it. What we are going to do, we are making a plane, left view, then make making a plane. This plane length and width, we have to match with this size. Then you will not lose the proportion. When you right click on an image, when you go to properties, Go to details, you can see here the, the dimensions. So we're going to enter that 1300975. So here, go to modify with this 1300 and height is 975. Let it be bigger, no problem. If it is bigger, go to perspective and use scale tool R. Click from the center only, otherwise, you will lose the proportion. Then you can make smaller. Now, the, the plane is smaller, it's not the same size, but the proportions are different, same. Now go to material, press M, take a material slot, assign. Click on diffuse, bitmap, and choose an image. And click on show shaded material here. So assign in this. Now your image is ready with, without losing any proportions. I'm gonna keep a little bit far from here. This is, we are taking as a reference only. We're not gonna follow one by one detail, but the proportions, we're gonna take it same. And we're going to, uh, many of the reference we will follow. Once you go to cycle structure, if you wanna customize to a different cycle, it's easy. So we're going to create a, uh, a torus. We are starting from a tire. So click on torus, go to left view. Here, you're gonna create a torus shape. And scale tool, we're gonna to make it almost same size now. Then go to perspective, P. I'm just switching from P and L. P means perspective, L is left view. This I'm gonna do it always. So I may not say that I press L, I press P, okay? We already studied that how to switch from perspective to side view. Now this width we need to adjust. So you go to left view again, then you see this radius two, you can see how much width you, you want for your tire. I'm gonna keep here. Come back to perspective, press F4, then you see the divisions. Divisions, what we need, usually when we have a lot of segments. So segments, in the segments, you can increase more to get smooth. Uh, no need that much, around 60, 80, 90, okay, fine. Unnecessary if you add it, your, the object will become heavy also. The sides I'm keeping on eight, okay? Almost eight, I keep it. Then the rim and tire, I want to extract it separate, okay? I'll be teaching you many new option also when I completing this assignment. You will learn many new objects also, new tool also. Now I'm gonna discussing one thing called detach option. So press F4, convert to editable poly, choose polygon. And from here, the rim, I'm gonna do it. One, two, three, four, the four, boxes I've selected. Hold shift button and click here, click here, here, and the last one. Hold shift button. So the loop selection happened. Then click, if you come down, there is an option called detach. If you detach it, okay. Now you see this tire is separate and rim is separate now. So the rim for time being, just I'm gonna give a different color. So it's easy to understand. Of course, we need to do different color for this also for time being I keep like this All right we can give material on it our tire is ready now then we start with a small cylinder we're going to make from this portion okay so we're going to start from the center so I'm taking one small cylinder from left view small cylinder we're creating. 
move it and click it. So we got a cylinder shape here. Center smaller, left view, we keep it here. And for this, Yeah, correct. Yeah, then we forgot one thing. You know, this one, the tire, you can do a bit extrude. Select this one, all the polygon you selected, then click on extrude option, local normal, little bit, okay, outside. I forgot to do this one. Little bit outside, so the rim you feel is inside. You can see a small thickness on the border. see the thickness let me check again i think uh, we need a little bit more yeah extrude local normal local normal up outside yeah now it's okay we will give smooth anyhow then come back to cylinder press f4 you see the divisions here, if there is a division, we don't have any use. So in 3D model, when you do, you just remember, each division will make your machine more heavy. Your object become more heavy. So unwanted divisions, or you can remove it. This we need, okay? Side 18 or 19 is okay, because we want a smooth output over there. Convert to editable poly. Choose this both side now. Before that, make a little bit smaller inside left view, make it smaller. It should be good. Okay, convert to double poly. This two side you selected. Inset, smaller. Extrude, outside. Inset. Sorry, more time. Inset. Let's extrude it here. Go to tube. You create a small tube here. and make smaller. On the border, you keep this. And go to modify and see these divisions. Less, no need here divisions. left view, F3, you can try to align on the center and size, you can match it. Shift other side also. Go to left view, press F4 again, if you, if F3 again, if you don't, if you don't see this one, you can press F3, okay? Now, We take a small cylinder. When you do this, um, you don't want more divisions. You can make less divisions, okay? Of course, no other divisions, only this. Go to left view.
zoom scale tool only the height go to top view we can keep almost in the center it's not in the center comes we're going to change that rotate see this pivot point you want to change it uh, for time being i'll do one thing this one i'm going to keep on the top so it's very easy for me to show you instead of changing pivot point and rotation little bit side okay and the bit if you want the radius you can make smaller again okay this one there are different way this used to place it okay different way it used to place it now this one you press it e and rotate okay we get a copy e and rotate it this one to other side or this side you're going to do other side fine so when you go detail you can find a different way it used to do it Okay, now I select this all, effect pivot only, the third on hierarchy, effect pivot only, W and move this one to center. Center. So pivot point is here somewhere. Then switch off this one, then E, rotate it, one copy here. Then do how many if you want. One was extra. We can manage it. Either you do like this and manage it, or we need to add and adjust it. Of course, if you know exact numbers on that, we can equally place it. As we are in a beginning stage, it's okay. Now, this portion done. To continue here, you we are using most of them. We are using line method over here. Line tool from here. Go to front view. Front view. Here. We are making a line keep this line here left view you see the height do not uh, uh, yeah you can you can do this side right this way okay you see where the bend comes but text we have a bend here so you can see here so based on that your bend you can place it now this portion we select it, we click fillet on this fillet, fillet, select all little bit inside and you are going to place this Now I'm changing this modify, changing rendering to enable and radial. 
and the thickness I make smaller. Convert editable poly, select vertex point, scale tool this way. Then we go into keep here. Select this mirror copy. Or the orderly come X and Y is perfect. Then we go into keep to other side also. And rotations, you manage it. Take a cylinder, make it bigger. Almost the width we need to know. Here there is a small difference. Here we will not rotate it. Actually, we need to rotate like this, but we don't do it. We do till here. And you see the height almost we're going to set it. Here just to see, see the divisions, how it is. Inside there is no divisions and all. Uh, convert editable poly, poly, select this one just to do some detail. Inset, I do it and W and move down, extrude a bit just to give some detail. It's not necessary. I don't want to make it flat that. Left view, we keep here. Then to up to X to till here we need to do. Now we're going to assume we are understanding how the divisions almost comes and we, I will extrude straight. Later we can match with this height because if you do rotate, it will be a little difficult for you in the beginning stage to extrude like that. So this one I'm considering reaching to that handle area. So before I want to do an uh, inset a little bit inside and extrude. Left view, almost the height, okay. Inset, scale tool and adjust it. Extrude, up. One more extrude and scale it. This all you can see and some small difference happen on yours, there is no problem, okay. Inset giving a border, extrude a little bit inside. So this all I just do some detail there. Now we go into the left view. Now you can rotate it. Small difference, but it's okay. But this one need to reach here. What text point actually this portion I have done for here. See, when you select, I'm not able to select this one in a straight. So you can choose here, laser selection tool. So you can choose like this, laser. this word text point, little bit down. Now all the divisions, I wanna give smooth this one. So when you give mesh smooth, you know what happened. We discussed in the previous lessons also. When you give mesh smooth, see this all edges and all gone now. So I wanna get sharp there all. So what I'm, I will try, make a divisions here and we do connect option, connect. Connect option, two and both side and the borders. We're going to add divisions over there. Okay. Now here we need to do it for here. So select anyone. And if you click ring, it will select that all edges. Ring, 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 all edges. Then do connect option. Again, we need both on border. Already we set it, so it perfectly it comes over there. Now here also, select this all 
connected we need only one but which is on down here uh, I, 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 hold, I know some of you may have a doubt why you need to add divisions like this In the previous lesson I explained if you have this division then only the smooth will happen like sharp and smooth I need to happen that's the reason we are doing that we bring over here select this one connect it have one and which is down we need to do of course here connect this one we need to do on up here enough now when i give smooth you can see the difference is what mesh smooth correct this perfection we will be getting uh, then we go to top view then keep here left view so till here we are okay we done this portion for the tire but the tire you can see um, there is no you know mudguard is what see can you see some extra mudguard this one i want to add this also for this one actually it's not there i told you already i'm taking a structure only but i will be modifying something so i'm going to modify that so if you want to do that now, select this tire, shift and take a copy. Okay. Or you can do one thing, take this tire, you can move a bit from the, the same place only. Okay. Then right click, isolate there is an option isolate selection so everything will go only this will be visible okay then if you go to polygon here you can select it only this portions so we're going to keep it we got like this let me see now right click end isolation means everything will be back. Now we got one extra shapes over here. Now you can scale from there a little bit, the other one. Can you see another one? Okay. Now this one for time being, I'm giving a different color to understand this. Now you decide till where you want this. this I want a little bit width, of course. Convert editable poly and remove it little bit more I, do, I want till here only you can press f3 till here only similar from the side view till here only Then this thickness will be less. There is no thickness for this one less. It, uh, if you want to get thickness for this, you can use shell modifier. Before we discussed shell modifier, then give it a thickness for this. We can add divisions and make smooth later. Now I choose this all, use my selection. I choose this all and I don't want to select this one and this one so i press alt and deselect it go to left view shift and take copy to back side shift and take copy to back side again the mudguard is not here also but i want to keep this one just rotate and this way okay of course we have not done but just for you to connect this two if i'm going to stop now for the first session so just to get a confidence, we have connected there. So when you rotate, if you want 90 degree, you can keep to 90. 
and go to left view and be keeping okay there are details there but we'll do later okay even i'm not rotating also now i'm just gonna keep choose a color colors are okay we're going to do later uh, for time being to get an appeal i'm going to keep this one to white color black and we want these two same color okay uh then we're going to continue remaining question but i know that it is hard for a beginner to do this much and, I, and I, if i'm telling you to try but remember we have done this portion first so we, you have to do this one portion first then extract and make this one separate then this one only three you need to arrange then shift and take duplicate this one using a line you go to top, you can go to front view In the front view you can draw this line line view and from that, this way you're going to try then you enabled in this to convert here corner make it smooth okay and uh, from the tire you take a copy then you can use uh, mud card you can extract it how copy then delete it i teach you one new option now if you are working on an only one objects i don't want to get any other i want to work only on that right click isolate selection so only this one will be there after if you you finish your work and isolate so remaining all will be coming so this will be useful instead of layers if you're not using layers directly you can uh, use this isolation option most of the times because of the isolation because of the viewport only uh, invisible and lock only the two reasons we are doing you can lock also this one if you select it right click there is an option called freeze 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 selection now it is freeze it will not select it okay while you're working if you may if you need this one you can utilize this all right click unfreeze all then unfreeze so isolation and isolation freeze unfreeze all freeze selection or freeze all is the freeze all means everything will be there unfreeze all unfreeze all means everything unfreeze okay and there is hide also for example i want to select this one you can go to hide selection so this is hidden right click unhide unhide all everything will pick so hide and hide isolate and uh, end isolate uh, lock unlock lock or lock unlock is actually freeze and uh, freeze all unfreeze and unfreeze all okay so this much option and uh, this much options we study new shell modifier before we already used it we know shell modifier and uh, detach is the new option which i introduce on this exercise okay ensure until here it is okay then we will go for the, the next part